SLAM is Secure Live Air-to-Air -air Mission. It's an LVC exercise conducted by Collins Aerospace and our partner, the University of Iowa Operator Performance Lab. The SLAM was our LVC event that showcased the Operator Performance Lab, uh, their assets, two L-29 jets, an MI-2 helicopter. As surrogates for live aircraft into a scenario, a comprehensive scenario where we had F-35s ingressing into adversary land. We also tied in a virtual simulator and constructive threats to provide realism and virtual range extension beyond what real players get in training today. The SLAM exercise went extremely well. On a cold day in, in Arctic frigid land, the L-29 successfully launched and attacked into bad guy land. We saw live air-to-air -air missile flyouts. We saw surface-to-air missile flyouts. We saw adversaries being replicated as modern near-peer threats now and we used one in the multiplication of constructive to make four threats against our good guys. A lot of feedback we got was whenever you plan an LVC event, it never ever really goes as planned. And ours really went as planned, uh, despite all the hurdles we had to jump over. So we had a great team in place. Uh, we got great customer feedback. Uh, really proud of the team for jump through hoops to make this happen. SLAM is important because it helps close the gap of advanced training. There's shortfalls in realistic range scenarios that we can't get near peer threats, and SLAM allows us to inject live virtual constructive into a blended environment. You know, ideally January in Iowa, not our first choice, but we, th we knew that now was the time that we needed to uh, make our point, along with the AFRL Slate ATD, that LVC is ready for implementation into the, the U.S. Air Force and U.S. Navy's training infrastructure. Collins Aerospace has a unique position in our ability to tie simulation, live telemetry, and multi-level security into one common environment that we can constructively control and generate through a threat model to give our combat warriors the readiness they deserve. The biggest takeaway from this demonstration was the use of JSAS, our Joint Secure Air Combat Training System, that's in production today. Uh, it's being used on a U.S. DOD, U.S. Air Force program of record. It's in development for a U.S. Navy program of record and is going to be uh, well sustained for many, many years to come. So the Air Force and the Navy can jumpstart their LVC training right now using existing programs of record, knowing that it's low risk with understood actual costs. The future is very bright when it comes to LVC and what Collins Aerospace can offer the industry. We can connect all of those, the LVC ecosystem together so that our warfighters can train like they fight.